Racing from the Highland Speedway, 50 years of racing. Brought to you by Wheels Video and AllAmericanRacetalk.com. Of five, and Zobris is going to go to the third row on the inside. Next up, we've got the 27 of Mike Schulte. Schulte's going to reach in, try to find one. And Schulte pulls out the six. Schulte's going to the back row on the outside. Now we go to the 22 of Jan Dan Jacober as he reaches in. Jacober's looking for a good starting spot. And Jacober pulls the one. Jacober is on the pole. Now we go to Nick Lyons. Three starting positions left. Lyons has got to find one in here. And Lyons pulls out the three. Lyons is going to be on the second row. Two more starting positions. We go to the 11 of Shannon Kuhn. Kuhn reaches in. He's got one. And Kuhn pulls the four. Kuhn is going to the second row. That leaves one more starting spot to go. So this is how they'll line up for tonight's Dash for Cash in the Becker Jeweler Late Models. On your pole will be the number 22 of Dan Jacober. Outside in the number 3-0, three, uh, three that is Chris Strebel. The 30 is Chris Strebel. Second row inside, it will be the eight ball. Nick at night, Nick Lyons on the outside in the 11K, Shannon Coon. In row number three, inside, it'll be the 78, the Bulldog, Chad Zobrist. Outside, Mike Schulte in the 27S. Six cars for six laps. Here comes a field off turn number four for the start. Modified dash coming up next, but right now we've got late models on a roll. That's Jacoba in the lead down the back straightaway. Car number 22 leads the pack through three and four. He'll be your leader on lap number one with Strebel all the way from Indiana. We're running in the second spot. Nick Lyons runs third in the eight ball. Then it's Zobra, Schulte, and Kuhn. That is your running order on lap number one. Here comes lap number two, and Jacoba puts another lap in the books up in front. If he can stay up front, he'll be your pole setter for tonight's main event. And we got problems in turn number one. I shouldn't say we. He has problems in turn number one. Well, we've completed two laps so far, and your leader is that number 22. You see it on the front straightaway. That is Dan Jacober. But first things first, we've got a dash to finish off. Jacober will bring him back around for the start. Keep your eyes on the eight ball. Nick Lyons down the back straightaway, trying to figure out where to run as he tries to make it back up into the challenging position. Look at this. Chad Zobris in the 78. He's picked off Strebel. He's into second spot. The white flag will come out this time for Dan Jacober. Jacober in the 22. We'll get the green flag this time. White flag next time by. Jacober looking strong in the 22 car. There's a white flag one more time around. Double checkered flags in your flagman Dan Dondero's hands. And Dan Jacober picks up the win. Chad Zobers will finish in second and Chris Strebel third. All right, finishing in third, the 30 car of Chris Strebel. Second place is 78 of Chad Zobers. And ladies and gentlemen, your winner drives car number 22 from right here in Highland, Illinois. Could we have a hand, please, for your winner in tonight's Becker Jeweler Late Model Dash? That is Dan Jacober. Racing from the Highland Speedway, 50 years of racing. Brought to you by Wheels Video and AllAmericanRacetalk.com.